We got new data from the Department of Labor. It's showing a record number of workers who have been quitting their jobs, especially in August. And but those jobs haven't disappeared. Many are still open in need of being filled and causing more strain on businesses who are, that are still recovering from the pandemic. NBC4's Alan Henry joins us live now from the newsroom. So, Alan, what do the experts say? Why are employees leaving their jobs? Well, Colleen, Brad, experts are calling this latest trend in the economy the great resignation. With more businesses needing more people, workers are now finding themselves with more leverage and more options than ever before. People are seeing life from a different perspective and they're in a different mindset, so they want to make a big change. In August, 4.3 million people, about 2% of the entire American workforce, chose to quit their jobs, seeking better wages and benefits. Over time, that type of churn is likely to be positive uh, for productivity and for the overall uh, productive capacity of the economy. But in the short term, it's causing headaches for short-staffed businesses, especially in the hospitality industry, with restaurants adapting and offering more perks to employees to remain competitive or just remain open. Benefits to mental health support, to ongoing training, career tracking, um, all kinds of things like this, right? Flexible scheduling and be able to put all this together for your existing employees as well as new employees who arrive and are interested in joining. And I think our best employers are going to, they're going to do that. The great resignation could easily become the great regret. Financial planners warn, before you go searching for greener pastures, make sure you have enough green in the bank. Don't even think about leaving a job if you don't have six months emergency fund, because you're gonna need that cushion. Remember, you're an economy of one. You need to take care of yourself and make sure that you can meet your financial obligations. And in some cases, you don't even have to quit your job to get some of the perks that these new hires are getting. For example, if you're feeling burnout or underpaid, just talk to your boss. It might be better for them to give you more money and more time off instead of having to hire a replacement.